Hello everyone, my name's Ilir2 and welcome to my Let's Play of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness with the Mega Campaign with Molly. Oh my god, just look at that. That is an insane amount of land we have, mostly, you know, obviously in Africa. And of course, the Americas are pretty well unified, mostly because of us and... I guess the English. English never converted. Well, they never converted. They never became Britain, which really infuriates me. Who else do we have here? We have Lithuania. Of course, us. Alban. Oh, right. Alban still exists. Well, we are an absolute monarchy. Everyone else is an HM's government. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's not good. What about you guys, little guys here? Yeah, HM's. Uh... Yeah, absolute monarchy. We are a great power. We're number three, but actually we're number one. But anyway, anyways, let's uh, just continue on here. So when we left off, we had just conquered all of uh, Madagascar and, of course, unified uh, Australia. Of course, we don't own all of Australia because of fucking reasons. I don't know. I'm going to have to colonize the rest of that. Uh, but as you can see, I do not have a lot of colonial power. Uh, I have plenty of ships, plenty of soldiers, and now I'm number one for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, those things. Just ignore that. If you look at it now, uh, we are number one. Byzantium's two. Hafsid's China. Yes, Ming became China. There is no Ming in this game. Uh, France, England, Poland, and Vengi Chalukas. Chalukyas, whatever. Uh, Hosokawa instead of Japan. Odd. Uh, Korea. Korea owns Taiwan. Don't ask. And we, oh my god, check this out. We accept all of those cultures. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's quite a bit of culture there. Uh, the green right here is Mande. That's Malian. Uh, we have Berber. We accept Berbers. But not Bedouin. Right? Wait, do we accept Bedouin? No, we, we do accept Bedouin and Berber. So... That means when we eventually conquer the Hafsids. I think you know what that's going to mean. Yeah, you have the Mansarids there. Still there, but not Arabia. Arabia is actually its own country. Oh, sorry, I'm just looking around here. You have the Polish North America, Byzant Byzantine North America, which is basically just Texas. Uh, more Byzantine North America. Uh, the Vangi Chalukas, of course. We could colonize there. But I don't think I care enough. Wait. Oh, Nevada, Utah is one state. I forgot. Yeah, that's stupid. And, uh, yeah. So we will have the opportunity to... Oh, wait, no. I totally forgot. I already built the Panama Canal. So, let's see. We have Malian, Colombia. Yeah, all of the little... um, Yeah, Malian, West Indies as well. All of our colonial nations are not freed. Uh, they have their own cores, though. Same thing with everyone else, basically. And uh, so another thing... We still have slaves. Yeah. Slaves are still a thing. Although I believe it's just where the uh, colonies were. Oh, yeah. Permanbunko is mostly slave. 40% slaves. Damn. And if we look at our total country, fetishism is actually its own religion. Which is very surprising. I thought they would have just become uh, animist. And, of course, we have Sunni, Hindu, Inti, and Nahuatl still exist. Totemism, Catholics, and Protestants. Oh, God, I got to sneeze. Okay, that was a weird sneeze. Anyways, so we have 25% Monday with others. African miners, we do not accept the African miners, but we do accept Bedouins, Gujarati, blah, 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 blah. North Italians, we also accept North Italians for some reason. I guess I must have made them an accepted culture. I don't know. If we look at that nationality, yeah, Greece. Greek is huge. Look at that Greek. Damn. Okay, okay. Anyways, let's actually start the episode. God damn. Uh, obviously taxing the middle class and the poor. We are the royal faction. Let's see. We, we're state capitalism already. Wow, nice. And we're moralism, res residency, and we have no reforms because we did end as an absolute monarchy. All right. And it looks like... Damn, Mexico. Wait, why is it Malian Mexico? Oh, uh, it's because Poland owns a bit too. Damn, forgot about that. So, oh yeah, population density, right. So, uh, if you remember, 
Tangier was our is is and was our capital, and there is Maghrebi. Really? Why is there Maghrebi? It shouldn't be Maghrebi. It should be Monday. Do we accept Maghrebi? Uh, no, we do not accept Maghrebi, and yet for some reason Tangier is our capital. That makes no sense. But look at six hundred fifty thousand people in that one capital. That's a uh, pretty high amount, I'd say. Wait. Population density. Oh, yeah. There's 1.3 million people in Prague and Munich. Dear God, the Hafsids. Hafsids have 38 million. We have 53. I believe the Byzantines are the highest amount. China only has 23 million. Osakawa, 7 million. Yeah. I said it so that development equals uh, population. Poland. Damn, Poland. You are just... You are huge. Definitely more than just the Polish in Poland. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let's actually continue on. So, we did not get all the technologies in EU4. We got up to, I believe, thir 31 instead of 32 and everything. So, we are behind. Let's go ahead and get that um, technology medicine so we can actually colonize the rest of uh, Australia. Or at least stop people, uh, other people from colonizing it. Cambodia, Cambodia is so massive there. Damn. Oh, and of course... A lot of there and more really. You know, it doesn't matter where we put these as long as we get some more bureaucrats. Diamond fever. Yes, yeah, more precious metals always help dig deep and greedily. Oh, the game goes on till 9.99. I guess because we converted it. But I will end it when it's supposed to be ended. Gold rush. Yeah, we have plenty of gold, I'm sure. Uh, Actually, not a lot. <laughs> uh, send some to our neighbor neighbors, of course. Make in some more babies. So our goal in this series, I don't know, I guess it would mostly be to fuck with the Hafsids. Because we couldn't do it in um, EU4 because they were too powerful. But now is our chance. Uh, you know what, you guys? Yeah, start unifying. You should be a pretty well, yeah, a well-balanced army. It's always the most important type. Uh, it looks like someone's, yeah, it looks like Byz Byzantines are colonizing down in uh, southern Africa. Which is fine, I guess. We'll just ignore it for now. Yeah, th these lands, we still need uh, the text we need in the normal game. All right, so these are completely balanced soldiers. Good. Old Man of the Sea. Eh, don't piss people off. I actually do probably want to go and become very liberal and socialist in this game, just so uh, I might be able to get some immigrants. Yeah, that'd be important, wouldn't it? And uh, so up here... Got some more up here and over here. All right, and Byzantium and uh, Poland are our allies. We don't have anyone in the sphere. In fact, I don't believe we can sphere many people in this game because, uh, you know, there aren't really many people left. All right, give me one second. My dog's trying to bite me. All right, so my dog's no longer in with us. Uh, so we have all these little tiny tribes. I hate no one. I hate, I hate the fact that no one ate them. Just looks so much better if they did. Oh, yeah, and we own this land. We should technically be connected, but we aren't. But, you know, fuck me, I guess. Look at all of that. No culture? What the hell? What the hell? Mm. Game must be glitching out, I guess. But, uh, yeah, we should outlaw slavery. We definitely should. It's the first thing I think I want to do. There's no point in being having slaves, right? All right, and we have all of these ships, mostly because of our uh, colonial nations. Let's group all of them together, honestly, just to make this look better. Uh, you do not, yeah, stay in good areas. Don't die. All right, you guys as well. Oh my god, we have so much. We have so, I forgot how huge our empire was. You guys stay there. Whoa, whoa, look at that. 94% slaves? Lesser Antilles. Can I look at you for a moment here? Uh, I cannot. Yeah, well, Lesser Antilles, most of you are slaves. Why? It's because they're African miners, but that makes no sense. How are they African miners? We've made the African miners into slaves. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. African miners are all slaves. Which would make sense, I suppose, and... The hell's 60%, but... That means Monday. 
Yeah, there's very little amounts of Monde there, but a ton of African miners. And we do not accept them. That's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, Poland is now at war with... Oh, the UK. With the UK finally formed. Good. Uh, the UK, France, and Hafsids. Why do you do this to me? It's Lombardy, Vengishilukas, and Poland. The Polish liberation of West Fiefsin. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Well, fuck. That is quite the war there, bud. A hundred... I can't fight that. Do they have 104? Everyone has a huge navy now. You know, I cannot fight that, Poland. It's simply impossible. I can't fight France and the Hafsids and the UK at the same time. At least not right now. Not going to focus on that. Um, so land you. And... Anyone else? Oh, we have a huge amount there. Jesus. Oh, you know, those are the transports I built. I forgot. Uh, you know what? You can just die. Damn. I feel like the British now, and I hate having such a huge empire. I don't know why. I just do. What do you have? 14,000? Oh, Vangus, you look at owns land here? That's gross. Lombardy? Sure, you can go through my land, but you guys are going to get fucked. I mean, like, really fucked over. Who's number one in the game now? Probably. Yep. Byzantines. Hopsits actually have an industry. Oh, I did not expect that one. Well, Ronnie, no. Oh, speaking of which, we should probably build industry, huh? So, um, Morelia. Let's go my name. We have so much land, dear God. Uh, Morelia, we could start building some steel factories, paper mills, and where else? It was in Mexico, right? Yeah, Mexico. We start getting some steel factories, uh, fertilizer. Also gonna need some cement, but whatever. Oh boy, Palas by Vengi Chulukas. Who's Palas? I have no idea. Ashina Boyne. Yeah, we're not gonna help you out. Uh, we have a lot of available space for soldiers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we are such a huge empire. That is real bad. It's gonna be real annoying. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to set up some um uh points here, mobilization points. Uh, you guys as well, dear God. Okay, um, all of your group together. You group up there. Group up. I'm sorry, guys, but we're just going to have to spend a little bit right now just grouping all of our military together. Because this is ridiculous. Why are you all dying of attrition? Makes no sense. Now, you guys are actually very good. Uh, and you two can combine. You guys are fine. Alright, and we have someone up here... Right, the uh, Canadians, I forgot. Forgot you were a thing. And... Oh, God, there's more! More! Okay, uh, you two can go down. Send more to our neighbors. We have a lot of cotton, don't we? Yes, yes, we do. Alright, um... You two can combine. Fucking Hopsids. I will kill you, Hopsids. I swear to you. Your empire shall die. Uh, okay, you guys, you guys, and who else? Oh, right. You all, you all, you all, and that is about it. All right, we'll set our capital of Tangier to be a mobilization point as well. Although, down here in East Africa, I think, let's say... Mombasa. Yeah, you'll be a mobilization point. Alright, so let's go ahead and build some stuff. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's just build up to... Eh. You know what, let's go down to 20. Let's have a nice 5 here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It'll be up to 45. 
And cavalry. We do not have any uh, of these. Great. Three, four, five. We should, though, because I know we discovered Hussars and Crusaders. But, you well, know, fuck me. Fuck me, I guess. Oh, God. There is so much to do now. None of it I want to do. Alright, you guys unify. Oh, God, really? More trade ships. Where are you? You guys can unify land. Uh, you two unify. You guys, all you guys. Oh my God. Uh, the one bad part about having a ton of colonial nations is this. Should have seen this coming though. Is that it? Let's just call it at that. Oh, God. That was not fun. Nationality? Yeah, it's still mostly Monde in, uh, in uh, Iberia. Although, there's still di diversity. Catalan is still a thing. So it's Ossetan, Frankish. Frankish still exists. Wow. Did not notice that. Yeah, but the Germ Germanic is still the main culture of uh, France. What the hell is this? Oh, no culture. Lots of no culture. Their population is no culture. Yeah. Good job, conversion. Real good job. But, uh, yeah. So as we build more... Oh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Go crazy. <laughs> oh, Poland. You're an idiot. How's the war going? Yep. Horrible as I expected. Idiots. Who are you? Cutting down the size? Cut Poland down to size. Yep. All right, gold rush. No, neither of you can go into my lands. Uh, let's start funding some of this stuff now. Uh, we are going to need some more clergymen. Yes, not intellectuals. Clergymen. We are, of course, in uh, technically vanilla. But it's not vanilla. But you know what I mean. Diamonds, gold, all this precious metal. And we're getting more income from gold mines. Get more fish. We do not need any more military spending. That's for damn sure. We could get a uh, military industrial complex. I think that might be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. We'll lose 15 prestige, but eh. We don't have that much prestige anyways. Damn, this is, this is like the first world war, man. This is what happens when you keep, uh, when you do a grand campaign, man. It's just a ton of huge empires rather than really tiny states. Yeah, look at look at China, man. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Who do you accept? A lot of you even accept Japanese. How the hell do you accept Japanese? Who do you accept? Just Japanese, even though you have the Ainu under you. But whatever. All right, more cotton. Good, good, good. Uh, and it looks like they're all going up into Tangier. I believe they are, but I don't want to assume things. They might be going over here. Yeah, it looks like they are. A little bit. Ashimaboinye, or however the fuck you pronounce that. Again, wants friendship. But again, I'll tell them new. No. Oh, hey, look at that. So England now has a core on the same lands as Britain. That's going to be very annoying. Like, what if I liberated England, huh? Look at that. Look at the Monde own fucking Greenland. Oh, God. And Poland owns a bit of land. Lombardy owns land. Weird as hell. Uh, again, you want access, but again, I'll say no. Uh, oh, look at that. We have, actually have an industry. Good for us. Uh, do we? Our administration is almost at 40% now. We have way too many in Mexico. Well, let's move them out. To Houseland, which I believe is in, um... Oh, God, man, get you look us. Who are you at war with? You're ne you are at war with... Sogdiana. Who the fuck is Sogdiana? Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Sogdiana. Oh, whoa, those guys. Uh, well, 
Sure, I'll join, but I won't do anything. Pala Liberation. And at war with Palas. Are you fucking serious? Fine. Both. I'll join both, but honestly, I think you could do this yourself. Or not. Oh my god. Vangichu Lucas, you are a great power. These are just dirty secondaries. And yet, for some reason, they beat the shit out of you. The fuck, man? Oh, uh, you know what? His A lot of his armies must be up in here. Yeah, and they're all dying. How sad. How very, very sad. All right, but you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so. Uh, I don't believe this will be the most entertaining of series, at least for now. Because it's going to be kind of boring. We're just building up, watching the world continue on fighting. I'm too scared to join anything. Oh, hey, Russia actually has cores. Just on a couple of lands. Weird. Uh, the United Kingdom finally formed. Even though, and even though there's Irish, there's no Ireland. Our land is very spread apart. Hopefully, we don't all crumble. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Neil Ritu, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.